Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any V having a Ford C Max guys generation from year 2012 to year 2019. If you need to remove or replace the throttle pedal, also known as gas pedal or accelerator pedal, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. They often guys can quit working, especially on higher mileage vehicles, because it's an electronic device that tells practically the engine computer how many percent you press the gas accelerator pedal. And we have a special video that explains how to test uh, throttle pedal on Ford guys. Check it out, it will teach you how you can test it and find out if it's good or bad. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Hope you guys in return, please subscribe to your channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. Now, if you need to buy throttle pedal, parts, tools, you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money. So, uh, let's explain what we need here actually to replace the throttle pedal on that uh, Ford C-Max, okay, right here. The throttle pedal is located, okay, let me scoot the seat all the way to the back, okay, so we can fit, it's located practically kind of like a little bit under the dash here. So, I'm going to go all the way back on the seat. That way it can give us enough room actually to do that. So uh, I'm going to position, okay, the camera now to where, okay, it can catch all the bolts. Let me show you now. This is the throttle pedal, right? Right here. And the first bolt is right there. Okay, this is the first bolt that we have. Then we have a nut here. And we have one more bolt on top, guys. Which one will be a little bit uh, harder to get. So, uh, if we position everything right here, okay, like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the biggest bolt for the last. Why? Because it's the easiest to get to. So, I'll just go ahead and leave it for last. And now, what I'm going to do, I will remove the 10 millimeter nut. Okay, and this nut comes out, guys. Okay, like that. Now on top, there is another nut that we need to remove on the very top right corner. There, so, okay. This one will be... Okay, let me align everything really good. Okay, that's what I'm doing now. It's just the self-locking nuts, so they don't want to come loose. Okay, I was trying to see if I can probably, okay, fit the, uh, let me see if I can fit the two in there, but I don't think I will be able to. Oh, and the big bolt actually will not need to remove it. We have only two bolts that will hold the throttle pedal. The other one is for the mount. So practically we don't need to do that. But the looser it gets, the harder it is to get myself there. And have the camera going on as well. So it should be any minute, guys. Let me check if that nut is still coming out. Yep, it's still coming out, just a little bit more. So you can see, guys, okay, we pre loosened the nut. All we have to do and remove it now. The throttle pedal will slide out. We need to disconnect it here. How do you do that? Okay, don't yank the wires because you will break them. Uh, I will block your vision for a little bit, but that's the only way for me to safely remove the wire. So, let's go ahead. Okay, grab the pedal, push it in, and disconnect it. So, let me show you what I did. Okay, this is the connector right here. That connector, guys, okay, first push the pedal towards the connector to, so you don't have pressure on the clip. Then press down here. When you press down, it's going to release. Okay. 
you can see how the thing moves inside and pull it out it comes out in the throttle pedal guys okay he's uh, out of the car you can see it just like that that's how you remove it if you want to see how to test it we have the video on the channel hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time